Power FM Instagram hesabına hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Burada her an her şey olabilir. Power FM yayında FM yayında geveze şu anda başladı. Burası benim home studio'm. DJ Funky C. Burada pickup'larımız var. Pickup'larımızı çalıyoruz. Pickup'larımız buradaki miksere bağlı. Bu mikser o yukarıdaki kolonlara bağlı. Bunların hepsi geliyor. Buraya bağlanıyor. Bunlar hepsi birbirine bağlantılı. Orada bir Mac var. Burada bir PC var. Burada bir Mac daha var. Her tarafta cihazlar, metronomum var. Aha bu en önemlisi bak. Neyse. Reklama girmeyelim. Burası benim radyoda çalışmadığım zaman... Evimde işlerime devam ettiğim, çalıştığım kendi stüdyom. Ve az sonra şurada görmüş olduğunuz şu ayak, şu ayağa telefonu koyacağım. Cecilia Crew'la bağlanacağız. Ondan istek bekliyorum. Ben de bir el sallayayım size. Merhabalar arkadaşlar, selamlar. Cecilia Crew muydu o? Kaçırdın mı? Ah, Hemen alalım yayına. Sürprizim var ona. Alamıyorum. Go on. Crew. Hey. Oh my god. <gülüyor> Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Merhaba. Merhaba. You've been Merhaba. to Istanbul before. So, I want to start by playing you a song. Is that okay? Yes, of course. Great. You know this song? <laughs> Yes, it is. It's the original one. How are yes. you? Fine here, you know, at home. Um, such a strange moment for everybody. But I'm trying to stay positive and, uh, and uh, keep going and keep doing music and, and listen to music. And this, is this how you always look when you're home? Um, It depends. No, sometimes I'm worst. <laughs> you look really good. Thank you really, very really much. Good. I want to ask you, okay, we know the song Cecilia. What yeah. does cruel mean? What cruel means? Yes. Well, cruel is my name. Um, yes. it's, a, it's a German name because my grandfather was born in Germany. He was German. And um, it means, uh, I think in, Pol in Poland, it means something like king, the king. King. Cool. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with... Bobby Brown says, don't be cruel. Cecilia yeah. Cruel, I wanted to know if <laughs> there was any comparison between them. <laughs> ah, this is so funny. This is very funny. But I'm not cruel. I'm not cruel. It, I'm, it, I phonetic, know you're not. <laughs> I know the phonetic, it's very similar, but I'm not cruel at all. Well, yeah, maybe <laughs> a little, but not. <laughs> Let me just do a quick translation for those who don't understand. Cecilia şu anda İspanya'da evinde oturuyor. Hep evde böyle mi oturuyorsun dedim çünkü çok iyi görünüyor kendisi. Bizim kameralarımızla, Instagram hesabımızla karşımıza çıkacağı için tabii ki ayrıcalıklı bir hazırlık yapmış bize. Ben soruları topladım. Chat Zone ve Power FM dinleyicileri Cecilia'ya sormak istedikleri soruları bize yolladılar. Onlarla yola çıkacağız. Soyadını solduk. Ee, baba tarafı Polonya'dan geldiği için... Cecilia, gerçek ismi Simon and Garfunkel'ın Cecilia şarkısıyla ona hoş geldin dedik. Sonra Cruel, 
Soyadının ne anlama geldiğini sorduk. Polonya kökenli bir isim olduğunu ve kral anlamına geldiğini söyledi. Bunları öğrendikten sonra Bobby Brown don't be cruel ve cruel hani benziyor diye acaba alanında bir mükayese var mı diye sorduk. My life is going on. It's an incredible song. Even if it wasn't with La Casa de Papel, the song would have been a hit anyway, I'm sure. How did the song come about? How did you make this song? Well, uh, I start to work with Manel Santisteban, who is the composer of many soundtracks here in Spain, like 10 years ago. He came to a concert. He came to saw me performing in a jazz club here in Madrid, in my city. And uh, he asked me to, to, to work with him. He, he was very interested about my voice and the way I, I compose and I wrote lyrics. So I start 10 years ago to work with him and uh, with his team. So, so I, I met Alex Pina, who is the creator of La Casa de Papel. 10 years ago, and we made a movie named uh, Tres Metros Sobre el Cielo, well, a Spanish movie, very successful in 2010. So um, I made a song with them, and that's how I, I start to work in, in doing songs for movies. And uh, well, I keep going, I, keep, I continue to make um, songs, and... Uh, And well, two years ago or three years ago now appears a new project named La Casa de Papel. And uh, they call me like, Cecilia, we really want you in that project. And, uh, and I make my life is going on. Let me With just my... translate that real quick. Şimdi yes, Alex, La Casa de Papel'in <laughs> prodüktörü 10 sene önce Cecilia bir jazz kulübünde şarkı söylerken tanışıyorlar. 10 yıldır onunla birlikte şarkılar yapıyoruz. Birlikte işlere imza atıyoruz. 2-3 sene önce Alex La Casa de Papel'i yazarken o dizide benimle birlikte çalışmak istediğini söyledi. Bir süreç ben şarkının sözlerini yazdım. Şarkı bu şekilde ortaya çıktı. 10 yıllık bir dostluk. Alex ve Cecilia hala birlikte çalışmaya devam ediyorlar. Efsane bir dizi. Dizinin geleceğiyle ilgili çok soru vardı. Hemen onu soralım. Everybody wants spoilers with La Casa de Papel. Does Cecilia know anything about what's going to happen next? Will there be a season five? Will Tokyo come back? I don't know. Is there any details you can give the listeners? I don't know if I can tell about anything that I know. So I prefer to stay. <laughs> Dizinin geleceğiyle ilgili bize ipucu verebilir misin? Dedik, e, bilsem bile söyleyemem diyor çünkü paylaşması yasak ama bütün bilgiler Cecilia'da. Cecilia, you have a jazz background, you have an unbelievable voice. Thank you. Um, who was your musical influence when you were growing up? I mean, who made your way for your musical career? Well, I grew up in a, in a musician's family. My father is a great piano player and composer from France. Uh, he's an, an a half French and a half Germany. That's why, German. That's why cool. And um, and uh, I I grew up with a piano at home, with the sound of the piano at home. And uh, most of my influences uh, were classical music and jazz music, and contemporary. So after that, when I start to to sing, because I I start very very young. With uh, seven years old, I, wow. um, I was in a casting for Disney Spain. And that's how I started to sing professionally, even if I didn't know that it will be my career. And uh, I, was, I was singing as a game for me. It was like a game wow. and it comes very naturally. And, um, and if you want to translate, because I speak a lot and after I tell no you- No problem. <laughs> Cecilia, müzisyen bir ailenin kızı. Evlerinde büyüdüğü çocukluk çağında bir piyano vardı. Evin içinde sürekli contemporary jazz ve bilindik şarkıları dinleyerek büyümüş. Çok genç yaş itibariyle şarkı söylemeye başlamış. Hatta 7 yaşındayken İspanya Disney tarafından kadroya alınmış. Ama o yaşlardayken şarkı söylemeyi bir oyun olarak değerlendiriyormuş. Yani çok eğlenceli olduğu için, ona da çok doğal gelen bir şey olduğu için... Cecilia şarkı söylemeyi hep bir 
eğlence olarak yapmış ama çok keyif alıyor, çok da başarılı bir vokal. Sizin de sormak istedikleriniz varsa, öğrenmek istedikleriniz varsa bana buradan yazabilirsiniz. Cecilia, I know that you're home now, everything is stopped because we have a world pandemic situation. It's very serious. Um, we're having fun, we're laughing, we're talking, but there's a lot of serious things happening. I know that you stopped. How are you evaluating this time at home? I'm sure you're writing lyrics and stuff, but it's a period where you're not very happy. So this might affect your creativity because you're not feeling so good about all the bad things that are happening behind us. I mean, how is your time passing at home with yourself? Well, I have... Uh... I have some, uh, I don't know how to explain that. I'm not so happy, but I'm not so bad. And I think it's a very good uh, option to to take conscience, to be conscious uh, of what is happening now. And um, you know about my lyrics, I trust in destiny. No, as I say, in my life is going on. No, wherever yeah. it happens in the future, trust in destiny. No, so I think that we are living this situation uh, for some reason. And for example, it's not everything so bad because the planet is recovering. And we had a very huge, uh, big situation and a big problem with the pollution and with the planet. And I'm very, um, and I'm very happy because the planet is recovering very, very fast. So we have to see the positive things that uh, we have. And uh, this situation for my, for my partners, for the musicians and for the creators, uh, it's very difficult now because we, don't, we are not working like you know like working all the concerts and events are cancelled but i think it's a very good uh, moment to create something else to be more in touch to connect with another people from all around the world we have the technology so it's very important yeah that's amazing exactly. we can we can have a, a conversation between you and i you are yes. in power fm in turkey i'm in madrid at home so we have to stay positive we have to stay calm and think about it and uh, and well how how is the day in my life now well i'm i'm enjoying a lot to be with my son i'm a mother so i'm enjoying to be with my son Yes, uh, he's a rapper. He loves to rap. He's Whoa, I'm a rapper too. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and well, enjoying to to read all that books that I usually buy and I don't have time to read, or doing mu new music, or of course cooking. I love to cook and I love to eat. So <laughs> I think everybody's cooking a lot because there's nothing else to do. You yeah. can only watch TV so far, read books so far, but. At the end of the day, you go to the kitchen and you feed yourself and everybody's cooking and sharing it on Instagram. <gülüyor> Çok zor bir dönemden geçiyoruz. E, mutsuz bir dönemden geçiyoruz. O yüzden bir şarkıcı, bir müzisyen olarak bu zamanı nasıl değerlendiriyor? Evde ne yapıyor diye sorduk. Şarkı sözü yazmaya devam ediyor. Kendisi bir anne. Oğlumla vakit geçirmeyi seviyorum. Kitap okuyorum, okuyamadığım ve zamanım olmadı ve kavrayamadığım bazı kitapları okuyorum. Zamanımı böyle geçiriyorum. Ama her şeye olumsuz ve negatif bakmamak gerekiyor. Pozitif yanından da bakmak gerekiyor diyor. Sonuçta küresel olarak dünya büyük kirlilik içindeydi. Atmosferimizin gördüğü zarar. Ama insanların eve çekilmesiyle dünyada yeryüzünün biraz kendine gelmesi için ona bir fırsat verdik. Yani tabiat kendini toparlıyor. O yüzden o açıdan dünyanın biraz daha iyileştiğini düşündüğüm zaman bu bana iyi geliyor diyor. Hiçbir şey tesadüf değildir. Her şeyin bir anlamı vardır. Buna pozitif yönden bakıp o şekilde değerlendirmek daha iyi diyor. O yüzden mutsuz değil. Şu anda mutlu. Okay, new projects, new songs. I mean, everybody is doing everything on the digital platform. Because that's the music industry now. If you're in the iPhone or if you're in the social media, the songs get bigger and better. Anything coming out soon from you? 
Yes, of course. I don't know if you received my new single, who's named Losing My Mind. We played this, yes. Yes. So I just released a new single named my, Losing My Mind. It was not about quarantine, and I was not thinking about quarantine when I wrote it. But I think it's a very good moment to, to share this new track with everybody, because um, in a certain way, we can lose a little our mind, no, with this quarantine thing. But Nothing I is think, coincidence. Uh, Yes, it's available in all the platforms and you can listen also on other songs because, yes, of course, I know everybody knows me because of La Casa de Babel and I'm very, very grateful, blessed and uh, thankful. And I receive a lot of covers and a lot of followers from Instagram and from all the platforms and doing a lot of covers. And uh, I will have more covers about another songs too. So... Please go and check Losing My Mind, or if you want to put Losing My Mind, I will be very, very happy. And, Hiçbir şey uh, tesadüf değildir diyoruz ya. Losing My Mind diye yeni bir şarkı yaptı. Hatta biz chat sonunda size tanıttık şarkıyı, dinlettik. Hit mi git mi de dinlemiştik. Tesadüf değil işte. Losing My Mind. Hiçbir zaman karantinayı, koronayı bu dönemi düşünerek yazdığım bir şarkı değildi ama zamanlama tam ona göre oldu. Çünkü birçok insan evde delirme sınırına geldiği için Losing My Mind tam bu döneme uygun bir şarkı oldu. Şarkıyı bulun dinleyin diyor. Tabii ki La Casa de Papel şarkısına imza atmak, o dizinin bu kadar büyük olması, onun kariyerinin uluslararası bir platforma gelmesi. Dün şarkıyı bulun dinleyin diyor. Tabii ki La Casa de Papel şarkısına imza atmak, o dizinin bu kadar büyük olması, onun kariyerinin uluslararası bir platforma gelmesi. Dünyanın her yerinden, Instagram'dan, sosyal mecralardan, dijital mecralardan takipçi ve onu seven insanlarla buluşuyor olması onu çok mutlu ediyormuş. Ama tabii ki yeni şarkılar yazmaya devam ediyor. Do you have, this is a really hard question, do you have like a most favorite song of yours? I'm sure it's more than one, but what's wow. your favorite song when I ask you? Like what's the first one that comes to your mind? Whew. Uh, this is a very difficult question, as you know, <laughs> because I love a lot of music, of course. But if I have to choose, I have a, um, a musician that, that oh, well, I have a lot of musicians that influences me and, and wow. But now a song that I used to, to listen a lot is a song called Portrait of Tracy. Uh, and it's from uh, Jacob Astorius, who is a bass player who passed away many years ago. But uh, he, he, for me, it's very special. En sevdiği şarkıyı sorduk. Zor bir soru. Çünkü müzik dünyasındaki müzisyenler sadece bir şarkı değil, birden çok daha fazla şarkı beğenebiliyorlar. Şu anda hayatını kaybetmiş bir basçının şarkısı. Sorry, what was the name of the song? Portrait of Tracy. Portrait of Tracy. Bence siz de arayın. Bir göz atın şarkıyı bir dinleyin. Kapı kapıyı açar. Enteresan bir arşiv yapabilirsiniz. Böyle sanatçılarla konuştuğumuz zaman biz de yeni isimler, yeni yeteneklerle karşılaşıyoruz. Onları tanıyoruz. Now my life is going on is a sentimental song that really catches you. There's a lot of feeling in it. There's a lot of lust. There's passion. Uh, there's a little bit of anger. There's a little bit of hope. The, everything... All the feelings are mutual in the song. <laughs> yes. A yes. Turkish DJ called Burak Yeter took the song and made a remix of it. Yes. And yes, the yes. remix became, how do you feel about someone taking your voice, your song, changing it around and re making a new version of it? How does that make you feel? How do you feel about DJs in general? Uh, I love DJs. I love electronic music. In fact, he's not the one who made the remix of My Life is Going On. Gavin Moss, who is a Spanish DJ, made it a remix too. Uh, from Greece, they made a, a remix too from Brazil. Um, they have a few remixes from My Life is Going On and I feel great about it, of course, uh, because it's another way to to to make music and uh, and to refresh and to and to have a remix no this is the definition yeah. so um i'm i'm glad i'm glad and i'm it's great that someone wants to take a song of you and do a remix of course 
and very successfully because in France with Gavin Moss, they have the golden record uh, with Buda Gieter double platinum award in Italy. So it's amazing. Of course, of course, yeah. it's amazing. Cecilia'ya DJ'leri sordum. Burak Yeter biliyorsunuz My Life Is Going On şarkısına bir remix yaptı. İtalya'da listelere girdi. Hatta Double Platin plak ödülü kazandı. Ama sadece Burak değil İspanya'dan, İtalya'dan, Brezilya'dan farklı isimler, farklı DJ'ler benim şarkımı aldılar, remix ediler. DJ'leri de seviyorum. Elektronik dans müziğini de seviyorum. Ve bu da müzik yapmanın bir başka şekli. Yani ben hiç rahatsız olmadım. DJ'lerin benim şarkımı alıp benim vokalimi kullanıp remix yapmaları aslında benim hoşuma gitti. Ben bundan memnunum dedi. Çünkü bazen sanatçılar rahatsız oluyorlar. Özellikle de izinsiz olursa. Now, coming from a jazz background, when you look at 2020, okay, it's not a very brilliant, happy, positive year. But so far, in the first three months, is there any song that you notice that you like? That is a new song from this genre from today. Sorry, sorry. There is a new... Popular uh, music. Like Lil Nas X. Uh, and there's like so many... Ah, uh, you know what song I heard a lot now with my son? Savage. I'm a savage. savage. I don't know the lyrics good, but I'm all the time song. listening hip-hop. I listen a, a lot of hip-hop since I was very young because I went to a French school here in Madrid. And as you know, in France, hip hop is like very cultural thing. And I uh, usually listen a lot of hip hop music. And now with my son, who is a rapper, who wants to rap, I, I listen a lot of- How old is he? 11. 11? He's here with me. <laughs> let's see him, let's, let's wave hello to him. ¿Quieres decir hola? Hello. <laughs> He Hi. say hello. He say hello. <laughs> he don't want to appear. It's it's. He is shy. He's shy. <laughs> And he raps in English or in Spanish? In Spanish. In Spanish. Oğlu rap yapıyormuş da oradan sesini duyduk. Tabii ki bu evde kal dönemi oğluyla haşır neşir olup daha çok kaliteli zaman geçirmesi için iyi bir fırsat oldu. İspanyolca rap yapan bir oğlu var. Ben de rap yapıyorum. Um, does your son like Tupac? Ah uh, yes, Tupac, of course. He's looking at me saying like... Maybe he can rap, this is instrumental. Get it up there? Yo, party people no, in a place to see if we get down on a MIC. Sit back, relax, put on your head, yeah. Take it for a trip through the atmosphere. Gonna take it for a ride through the twilight zone. Don't need a spaceship, we use the microphone. Hold on tight, man, with all your mind, cause we be rocking like this for the rest of the night. <laughs> he's shy about, he's looking at me like, no, no, no, mommy, no, no, no. <laughs> we're gonna battle. If he would come, we could battle. He improvised very well. We could do a well. battle together. He improvised very, very good. And in fact, he's coming sometimes when, before Corona, uh, he came with me to jam sessions in Madrid with all the musicians and he go on stage and he, he'd rap. He yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I want to well, support him a lot, of course. If you see whose mother it is, if you see whose son it is, it's only normal, I think, that he's got musical <laughs> intel. Yes, I imagine, yes. I support him, but, it, well, he has, he has to study, you know. <laughs> well, we want to wish you a safe life. Be careful. Wash yeah. your hands. Keep your social distance from people. Yes. Be good. Be safe. And we hope everything works out for you. We love you here in Turkey. Thank you. We here at Power FM, we promote your music and we love your voice. Thank you very much. I actually, I was the first one to ever write to you from Power FM. Yes. Uh, program. I remember. I said, is there any way we can get you to speak on the radio? Because the song is doing so good. We actually messaged each other a couple of times, but this is the first time we got a chance to talk. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you Thank for you. taking time out Thank for you. us. Thank you, Funky C. There... Thank you for everything. I hope I can I can meet you in Turkey very, very soon. I hope so, too. And, Let this uh, Corona business finish. Yeah. You can start your tours, your concerts, your festivals. We would yeah. love to see you here in Turkey. 
Is there anything that you would like to say to Power FM listeners here in Istanbul? Thank you so much for, for the support and thank you for listening to music that is very, very important in this in this crazy thing. Thank you so much for taking Thank time out for us. Thank you very much. We Thank wish you all our best. Lots of love from Istanbul. Thank you. Bye. Take care. See you soon.